Say most high. Most high. high. So we meet again, <laughs> brother. Do you not think that this is a divine intervention from the most high? Hey. Most high. Hey, I just love Jesus. Holy. Oh, you glutton. You must serve the Christ Jesus. Look how big he is. Three. Hosea 4 and 6. For my people perish for a lack of knowledge. For my people perish. I got to go pick up my kids. If you take off, brother, I will squeeze your big body through that window. Three. We're a woman. Do the running Tells you to love your Edomite brothers. But at the end of the day, I don't give a shit who the Israelites are. This is the same way I, I do I care who the real Chinese are, who the real Koreans are, who the real Vietnamese are. I don't care. Them people over there doing them people things. They doing them. Why do I care who those people are? I don't. Who the real Israelites are. Why? They don't matter. You see, that would only matter to me if. I believed in this book, and then it says, those who bless Israel will be blessed, those who hate Israel will be cursed or hated. But since I don't believe in none of that mess, it doesn't matter to me who the Israelites are. When it comes to what's going on over there right now, the only thing I care about are the non-combatants who are being slaughtered. That's it. I don't care about their political beliefs. I don't care about the fact of whose land is it land who you know who land is it and why they say it's their land i don't care grace and peace everybody come on and join this live it's about to be live got a very interesting topic that i um i got from um brother Berean. something for us to talk about with all of the nonsense that the hebrew israelites from the one west uh, genre of, of things, with all of the the, the the crazy things that they teach and with all of the crazy things they have said over the years, is there any hope for the camps? Like, is there any hope? Like, do the camps have hope at this moment? Like, at this time? Like, is it too late for them? Shout out to Brother Berean TV for this topic. Like, like seriously, can they be helped? Well, I know some of the newer ones uh, can be helped, but what about what about those those ones that've been in the camp for a long time? Let's talk during my life. Hey, young. Hey. Do you believe we yeah. are the true chosen people of God? Get up. I just believe in Jesus, bro. Jesus. Jesus. Shut your colonnade. Colonnade. Brainwash. Brainwash. Yeah. Yeah. Brainwash. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 His name is Yeshua. Look, I just want to spread love. You love the slave master, my brother. Yeah. You love his teaching. Show me the letter J before the 15th century. Yo, hey, the light is green. I'm about to take off our... I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to your other elders and brethren, your sisters, the sincere ones. Shalom to the elect. So anyway, uh, I was inspired to do this video by uh, Elder Manat Zadba. Now normally when I do a video, it's hard to do. Like, he covers everything. So the spirit moves though. So sometimes uh, as I was watching this video, almost 40 minutes in, I was still inspired. So that's just how the spirit goes. Because he'll cover everything and go all the, uh, most of the scriptures he read I will read, but the, the thing about it, it's a song, and in each each of us sing differently, you know? If you take the same song and you have an artist sing it, different artists that sing it, it's going to come out a different sound. Same song, but a different sound, and that's all we do, right? So we, we flow with one another on scriptures, right? And what I like about this is uh, us at Great Millstone, we always try to link prophecy, you know, with what's going on. And this is titled, Black Americans Openly Mock the Hebrew Israelites and Reject the Gospel Rebellion. Yep, and that's what they've been doing. And not just these guys. When people who just walk by us and they snicker and they talk and they don't want to listen, you're rebelling against the word. The word is there. The word is, is truth in there. But guess what? The Lord just didn't call them. You, you know, and it's simple. Just walk on by. You ain't going to get it. But then you got guys like this who want to make mockery, who's kind of set up. They got that vocab Malone kind of 
started that kind of energy, right? When he was doing those little skits. Now you got every so-called black Jake standing up in America trying to do these little skits, you know? And it, some of them are kind of funny, but <laughs> that's what it is, because guess what's gonna happen? Uh, Proverbs 1 and 26, 25, but ye have said it not at all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So we can laugh at your jokes, but you know what? At the end of the day, when the, low, when the Most High sends his wrath and we laugh at you, you ain't going to be laughing. See, you can get on us and we'll laugh about it. He's like, hey, this dude is simple. This big Jake with the nose pushed up, you know, <laughs> we can we can laugh at it, right? We can laugh at them and the guy with the jack o' lantern teeth, you know, we can laugh at it. And and you know the other Jake, the black cowboy, we can all laugh when they say these things. But at the end of the day, when that wrath comes upon them, we're gonna still laugh. And the question is, will you laugh in that day? Will you laugh? You know, let them have their abominations. Anyway, 1 Corinthians 4 and 10. It says, For we are fools for Yahawashah's sake, but ye are wise in Yahawashah. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. This is also kind of going into these other camps who, who uh, think that, um, you know, that the Lord is dealing with them the Pharisees, Pharisaical groups that sit up on high and think they're better than everybody because they got numbers or whatever or they got a large following. The Lord don't care about that, man. Okay, it says, Even unto this, unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and naked and are buffeted, stricken, and with no certain dwelling places and labor with our own hands, being revealed with blessing. We blessed now another um, uh, point I wanted to make we bless being persecuted we suffer it right another point I wanted to make is something that he mentioned in, in the video because uh, it was something me and a brother was saying and it's something when I notice when I when I pray um, one of the main things you know we always pray for things we pray for the Lord to watch over us we pray for him to watch over our family we definitely pray to watch uh, the elect and the families of the elect, you know, the brothers and sisters. But the thankful part, to be thankful, you know, if, I mean, far as mocking is concerned, what are we doing? Are we out thugging? Are we spinning on a cardboard box, right, with a little radio, you know, throwing, uh, break dancing and, and rapping the gangster music and shooting one another? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever new age thing they're doing when they rapping and they holding bundles of money. They'll go into videos of those videos and say, oh man, that's cool. Look at that, man. Them, them dudes getting money. Or you listen to Glorilla walk around in her cut off shorts with her cheeks hanging out, right? And, you know, doing lewd behavior on camera. It's sexy red, you know? All those, all this madness and sickness that's going on in the earth, that's going on in, in, in videos, that all these things that's being perpetuated to your children, right? Right in front of your face, through the schools, through TikTok, through Instagram, through social media. All these sick things that have happened. The pastors and preachers are molesting children in the churches. But we tell you, on these dirty street corners, come out, come out of her, my people, don't partake in none of her plagues. I believe it's Romans, I mean, Revelation 11 say, wake up, as Isaiah 51 and 17 say, I believe. Awake, awake, put on thy beautiful garments. Come back to the Lord. Be healed. You know, be safe, as uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7 say. When it says, rest with us, be safe. You know, Imagine if we was doing all that wicked when we was doing that wicked stuff, nobody mocks that. In fact, people enjoy it. But when we say according to the Bible, no more adultery, no more drug dealing, no more witchcraft, 
No more worshiping idols and false gods and white Jesus. Nope. Say, so, you know, we got to let you go. That's like the brother brought out. Uh, pray not for this people. This is another scripture he brought out right here. First, Second Chronicles 36 and 16. Which is another scripture that we bring out when it comes to these things as well. But they mock the messages of Yahweh, message of God, and despise his words and misuse his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people until uh, there was no remedy. Right? This guy with the cowboy hat, he quotes uh, Deuteronomy, I forgot what it was, 22, um, where it says, uh, Thou shalt not a poor Edomite. And that word really goes to Assyrian, just like when you go, you can copy the Greek and then paste it and do the translation from the uh, Greek to the English. It says, Thou shalt not a whore. Assyrian, they know this. It's in the blue letter. Uh, but when you go to the um, when you go to the Syri when you read that that goes into the, the Israelites of I believe Abraham's relatives who were calling themselves Syrians and there's much history on that just like the word ruddy that got so confusing that word came about later and that word really just meant healthy but for whatever reason uh, I forgot his name Hickengill or whatever his name he translated ruddy uh, from bloody, from bloody to ruddy. So then they, that's when they turned and made it red. It had nothing to do with red. But this is why Genesis 25 and 25 says he is red all over like a hairy garment. It doesn't say he's ruddy. You got to go into the what it means and then they put ruddy in there because they have a confusion with what ruddy actually meant, which meant dark, healthy complexion. That's what it meant. It just means a healthy complexion. Melanated, healthy complexion. But do these guys care? No, they don't care. Anyway, let me look up uh, Matthew 24, 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And we go with that name again. Now, I took the time to look up kill you, right? In the online etymology, not etymology, in the blue letter. It says to kill in any way, whatever, to destroy. This is an outline biblical uses to inflict mortal death, to deprive spiritual life, procedure, eternal misery, and hell. So you can see all these definitions for kill, right? Which does mean a physical thing. But when we go into the strongest definition, because we know the Bible is translated Hebrew, Greek, right? It says G575. And this is what it says, right? It says a separation, local separation. Afterwards, emotional place departing from or fleeing, a separation apart from the whole, right? Some part is taken and kind of separation of one thing from another. Now, we also seen this in the One West camps when the elder apostles of Great Millstone, they left and the IIC left and the IHBK split. So there was a, there was a great separation. But it says here, um, basically for the Lord's namesake, right? For my namesake. So this is the importance that even some people may call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, but if they're not sincere, they're not technically calling on that name. And then you got some that just drop the name altogether and call Christ the IUIC. So um, for the namesake and sincerity, right? So um, you're going to see a great separation, right? According to, even to our own doctrines and people in the truth. So don't worry about the persecution. Be thankful. As I, again, I think as the elder brother brought out, be thankful for what you have. Be thankful we're not thugs with liquor bottles and smoking blunts and messing with each other's wives and thieves and shooting with bullets. It, see, no mocking on that stuff. You know why? Because, you know, they love folly. But when the Lord comes, yeah, the, the real laughing will begin, right? The real laugh will begin. Let's get an example. Second Ezra 15, which he brought. I don't think he brought this scripture out, but yeah, I think he brought out something similar, right? Second Ezra 15 and 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses 
with the sword. Now I can see this big Jake with this big pushed up nose, how hungry he's going to be in that day. Right? All of them. All of them. That, you know, that other Jake with those gap teeth biting down on them damn pork burgers. I mean, pork hot dogs. <laughs> right, right. Let them, even the, the, the black cowboy, let them do their thing. <laughs> right? And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. See, you laughing at the Lord's work. That's all you're doing. And everybody thinks the Lord is this you know, almighty loving power, which he is, but he, you know, he just, he doesn't see no harm. He doesn't see no hatred. She, he wouldn't hurt anybody, as Isaiah 45 and 7 totally goes against. Now Christians are trying to read that scripture that we bring out. He doesn't want this for anybody. He doesn't want you to hurt. This is what, this is what everybody teaches. They've all manifested God in their own image. Except, except for what's actually in the scriptures to show you what he, who and what he really is. You got to remember when you leave these bodies, it don't mean nothing. In this flesh, you get judged for what you did in this flesh. But when you go to the spirit realm, all that pain and suffering you had, that's all done. That's no big deal to the Lord. Except what you did to the children of Israel. But in this flesh, when you got to serve out and that them famines come, you know, you got that big Jake crawling around looking for breadcrumbs, or hot dogs, or roaches, or whatever he can eat. He's gonna remember that laugh. He's gonna remember that joke. Right? All of them, all these little jokesters. When they're on their deathbed, or they get diagnosed with a terminal illness, they're gonna the most high is gonna let them remember. Right? You will remember. Anyway, uh, I just want to leave my little short take on that. That's all I have on that show. Long.